but the cleanup is still underway across much of the Coachella Valley. And KMIR's Vince Marino is live in Palm Springs with more on the cleanup tonight. Vince, good evening. Good evening, Gino. I'm standing on a road that separates Tockwitz Creek Golf Resort and Wet n Wild Water Park. And yesterday at this time, right behind me, there were down power lines, power outages. There was an evacuation at Wet n Wild to my right and a critically injured golfer to my left. Today, crews are still trying to clean up the mess. After high winds swept through much of the Coachella Valley, Southern California Edison and city crews were left picking up the pieces. In Palm Springs, a power line teetering dangerously close to falling over prompted an evacuation of Wet n Wild Water Park. We did ask everybody to leave um, just because of the proximity of it. Now, fortunately, um, there was you know plenty of people here and they all left home safely. The park reopened Friday morning, but not after a major cleanup effort from employees. Some of the attractions still remain closed. Well, the windstorm really um, certainly blew a lot of tree debris around the park. Obviously, that kind of stuff goes into the pools. Um, it did blow some awnings off and blew some tubes around. A golfer was critically injured after a tree fell onto his golf cart at Tockwitz Creek Golf Resort. Golfers on the course Friday say the conditions have been better. There were other places on the course that looked like a bomb may have gone off with all the debris, uh, plus the fallen trees, a couple across the cart pass where we had to divert uh, around them and on the tee boxes. So. Uh, very significant damage. At the Palm Springs Air Museum, the high winds knocked over a fence that is designed to withstand 100 mile per hour winds. It picked up two of our airplanes, knocked over one of the fences behind us here, and then um, uh, did quite a bit of damage to this H 34 helicopter, which we're in the process of converting to Marine One, and then uh, PV 2, which is a submarine hunting airplane that is behind me here was uh, spun around and actually lifted into a um, one of the storage containers that we have here. While the aerial tramway in North Palm Springs remains closed, Indian Canyon was reopened Friday after brownout conditions made it nearly impossible to see. I was here earlier today and Southern California Edison crews lined this road. They were working on the power lines that were down yesterday. The power to the area has been restored. Uh, the tram is still closed, but it is scheduled to open tomorrow at 8 a.m. Meanwhile, that golfer that was critically injured here at Tockwitz Creek Golf Resort remains in critical condition. Reporting live in Palm Springs, Vince Marino, KMIR News.